Hey, there's five words right now. You should never say, you got to stop saying, promise me you'll stop saying them. You go, dude, I don't know what the words are. Over the next few minutes, you'll know, and you will never use them again. All right, number one. Okay, number one. And, and, and as I preface why we're going into this, why we're talking about words you shouldn't say, because what happens is when you're in the close and you're trying to shut a deal down, right? You're trying to get them to sign on the line, which is X instead of dotted. Okay, and you're trying to get them to move forward. What a lot of times agents do is they create doubt with the words that they speak. Okay, so my sales team is out there. We train twice a day, right? I'm phenomenal at training sales team and help and, and, and building up sales people. And we had a new person. They used all these words in the morning and they had a couple of opportunities to close sales. They did not, they closed zero. We trained on this in the afternoon. I gave them the five words that you're about to get and then they stopped using these and they immediately closed two deals that they probably wouldn't have closed if they'd have kept using these words, right? The first word is think. These words create doubt and you need to stop using them immediately, right? So the first one is, I think this is the solution for you. I think that we should, what we should do is apply and this is the plan and you're going to like this and I'm going to help you get qualified and all this stuff. Dude, I don't think nothing, man. I'm certain this is the best option on planet freaking earth and I'm going to help you solve that problem with this solution. I'm going to ask if you want to do it because you want to do it. It's the right move and I'm going to help you do it right now because step one is to let's see if we can get you approved. What's your full legal name? Boom. I didn't, I didn't need to use the word think, right? Next one is probably. This will probably help you and your family. And I, I could see how this would probably make sense. You know, like, no, no, no. there's no probably to it, right? Because what you're selling and, and why you should not use these words we're going through is because what you're selling is certainty. What you're selling is confidence. And you've got to get to where you can absolutely solve the problem with them. And a lot of times you know that you can, but they don't know that you can. Do they know that? Do they realize that? And are you creating doubt or are you creating certainty? Right? As I'm trying to figure out how to spell that as I'm writing it. Do you, do, do you create doubt or do you create certainty? Because I promise you, you are creating one or the other. And I can tell you, you want to create this one and stop creating this one. But a lot of times we're using words and we don't even realize it. Here's the next one. Maybe, right? Well, well, maybe they can get qualified. That's okay as a takeaway early in the sales process, but it's not okay at the end in the close when you're trying to shut a deal down, right? Maybe, you know, you, you could afford this. Maybe I can help you get this. Maybe this would be the right one for you over this one. You know, th there's no maybes. It is or it isn't, right? Start speaking confidently. Start speaking it to existence. Start future pacing, right? Start using certainty words. That, that shows that you're coachable, shows that you're confident, shows that you're certain, right? You wanna be, you wanna be confident but humble, right? I'm not saying arrogant or ego or anything else, right? Uh, but, but, but using words like maybe actually don't help. And I even just thought of a bonus word that I'm gonna add in a second that I'll give you the first letter of that I'm going to tell you at the end, okay? The next one, right? Think, probably, maybe, hopefully, right? There's no hoping and praying and wishing, right? We are helping them solve their problem. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you think like that, the sooner you talk like that, and the sooner you start to embody it and believe it and know it. Not, I think, not probably not maybe, not hopefully, right? Not, you know, I'm not really sure. You are sure and you have to be sure. No one wants to buy from someone that they don't know is the absolute best at what they do. Nobody wants a part-timer. Nobody wants this someone that's like, ah, I'm just okay at what I do. I'm not, you know, it, it's, it's all right. You know, and, the, and the, that, that you probably should do this. Maybe we're gonna think about this being the best solution for you, you know, like, no, it's like, it is or it isn't, right? It is or it isn't, okay? So think, probably, maybe, hopefully, all right? And the fifth word, okay? Because cause, cause you don't want to think, you're not, you know, there's no probably, right? There, there's no 
should or 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 could, you know, or or would. It's like it, 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 it's taking away, it's creating doubt, right? It's creating, it's, it's taking away certainty. It's taking away their confidence in you when your job is to create this, not take it away, not remove it, right? All of these things are creating doubt and they're not really helping you. Also, the bonus, okay? This is something that I was taught by a sales manager years ago, and that's the word, but. It's an eraser word. And here's what that means, okay? This, the way you would use it is, well, this is gonna be the best option for you, but, you know, uh, you may not agree with me or know that, right? You just totally challenged everything you previously said, you took it away, and you, it makes them forget about everything you said before. It's an eraser word. It's a word that I try not to use in the middle of a sentence, because a lot of people use it in the middle of a sentence. Right, like you, you, you should come day percent, but you may not want to travel right now. There's no but. You need to come day percent, right? You get the idea. And when you're selling, when you're using these words, and then you're using, then you're adding a but in the middle of it. I'm telling you, it's it, it's it's actually taking away, right? It's taking away. You're here, and it's taking away and diminishing what you're saying by throwing it in the middle of a sentence, right? All this stuff matters. The psychology of sales, closing, focusing on certainty, not creating doubt, never create doubt at the end, right? Because your job is to help them do business with you because what? Because you are solving their problem, right? You're not, you're really a problem solver. That's what we are as interest agents. If they have a problem and you have, guess what? The answer. You have the solution and you can 100% solve their problem. You notice I didn't say that I think you could solve their problem. You notice I didn't say you probably solved the problem. You notice I didn't say maybe you can solve the problem or hopefully you can solve the problem or should or, 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 or could or you know maybe not. I said, I know you can solve their problem. You've got to know that too. Do you believe that? And what's holding you back from really believing it? Because at the end of the day, here's what you're doing, right? Because there's three steps to this whole thing to keep it simple. Right, you're building rapport. Okay, you're building rapport. You are you are identifying what the problem is. Okay, and then you are offering a solution. This one helps create a relationship. Boom! You need a relationship with them. Okay, not not you know what they don't they don't know like or trust you, and there's no common ground. Boom! That's it. Identifying a problem. Right. What this is do is. When, when, you ident- when you find out what the problem is and you start focusing on, okay, the problem is the wound. The problem is the wound. You find it, you start to, 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 to rub salt in the wound. You start to go deeper into what the problem is, right? Because once you identify the problem and you spend time going deeper and you go a dozen, 15 questions deep into that problem, guess what? It starts to build value in the solution that you're about to offer. Right? And what that does, as long as you deliver it with certainty, relationship, value, and I deliver the offer with certainty, and I stop using all of these words immediately, then they have more of a chance to do business with you. They will buy from you when you start to embody these steps. When you start to embody these steps, right? There's also... Something specifically, when you're talking about, okay, I want to build a relationship with them, I need value, I need certainty. There's also one other word that a lot of insurance agents struggle with that actually um, you need or it's going to diminish their confidence, it's going to lower everything, and that one word, because if you have relationship, you have value, you have certainty, you've got a very high chance of, 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 of closing the sale. Everything goes up, but the one word a lot of people forget about is engagement. You have to have engagement. They've got to feel like they're a part of the process. This can't just be you talking and have the gift of gab and you saying all the wrong words and just talking, talking, talking. I make sales when I talk less than the prospect. You having the gift of gab is a curse. You talking more than the prospect is going to end up with you getting a lot of think about it and call me back and and freaking never come to my house again. Instead, what your job is, is to create constant engagement the whole time. Focus on building a relationship, building rapport. Focus on pumping up the value in the solution that you're going to be offering and that when you offer it, promise me you're going to offer it with certainty instead of offering it with doubt. 
Okay, so at the end of the day, it's your job is to create certainty, is to offer solutions in the most confident way possible. And when you don't believe in it, or use words like this, the customer can feel it, and it affects their ability to buy from you right now. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Three simple steps to close an insurance sale. Everyone wants to close, and I want you to picture something real quick as you're thinking about your prospect. What happens is, okay, what happens is, your prospect, I never said I was the best drawer, okay, is in a state of 